Hi, my name's Carmen Gillies. I work for the Morrow Council. My job title is Development Officer for Social and Microenterprises. And what that entails is also looking at self-directed support in new and innovative ways. Born out of Iris, who helped us do the Morrow Small Business Network, I'm proud to say that our time and efforts have come up with a new aspiring social enterprise called Mindful Designs Cooperative. That's born out of four individuals who have SDS budgets who would like to do something meaningful, worthwhile, and with a shared interest. That shared interest is in woodwork and crafts. So how did the Mori Small Business Network come about? We would meet up um, once a month in the Mori Resource Centre and initially set down plans about what we want, where we want it, and how we want this to work. We were looking at investigating per people's outcomes, personal budgets, and looking at what is it people want to do with their time. And we have three individuals who are here today who would like to share their story. So, Claire, over to you. What was it that made you want to be part of the Mori Small Business Network and set up this woodworking group? It was because I could have the opportunity to um, do woodwork, make my picture frames and things around my own condition and something that um, worked with, with my OCD and that. And um, I, I love doing woodwork and not being able to get out and about sometimes um, and not having peer support it's nice to have the guys peer, peer support with me and we support each other and we help each other and um, we, we pull together to, to make this go forward for our own benefits and hopefully for the benefits of others. And how did you all meet prior to obviously coming to the Small Business Network? Um, well we all met um, at Step Forward, um, Chris came in Step Forward later on um, and um, uh, we started, when we finished at Step Forward, we started going out for coffee because we were a bit a loose end and lost and didn't have anything to move on to. And um, we started talking about it then and obviously we met yourself and we took, progressed it from there and we were very determined to, to get this done. Uh, Chris, this hasn't been all plain sailing. Um, what's been the challenges we've had so far? Um, we've had several different challenges, uh, one finding actually somewhere to, to rent, uh, so actually finding somewhere cost effective uh, that the four of us can work uh, within, um, and obviously the issues of actually forming a cooperative to rent it as a group rather than as individuals or as a business partnership. Um, one of the big things that we found is also to actually trying to actually get our, our full budgets for, for the SDS so we know what we're working with. We envisage this as being, first of all, a cooperative where we could work with people like ourselves. It became very obvious to us that working within the various enterprises that the Mental Health Service produced, that there was nothing run by people like ourselves for ourselves. So we find that if we are in an environment where we understand from first knowledge exactly what the problems are, we have a much more easy and sympathetic environment. Building on that, we have a set of skills which together mean that we can have a viable cooperative and business. Um, so here we are today. We've actually um, fantastically last Friday got our keys. Um, thank you to the council who helped us with some seed funding and what that's actually enabled us to do is to uh, get the uh, deposit and the legal uh, fees organised and what that's meant is over the last weekend um, we've got in and used a, a little bit of that budget to, uh, as you can probably see, paint the floor and the walls and just get ourselves prepared. Um, the next stage we're going to be making a few benches and just starting to uh, slowly uh, get ourselves prepared to actually uh, get going, get started. So. Self-directed support is all about innovation and trying new things. Here today we are hopefully going to create a new business that is great for Mori and the people with mental health services. 
what I would like to say is let's give it a try. Don't be scared of taking risks because every day is going to be a learning day. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow and we don't know how well the business is going to succeed. But we are here together as a team to try and get through those barriers and hurdles and hopefully make a life better for those who are suffering. Self-directed support here today for innovation, choice, control and flexibility of your life.